Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, Talking with Jay Spring. I'm your host Jay, giving you a video on the channel today. Day by day, we get closer on this journey to Avengers Endgame, and we are here with the Captain America Civil War movie review. The journey so far has been amazing, going back and reviewing these movies. If you've missed the journey so far, do not worry. There is a playlist on the channel, or link in description, or annotation at the end of the video you can click on, and a card above my head. It will take you to a place with all my MCU stuff, and there is a bunch of movie reviews on there already, from Iron Man 1 up to this point. You can go ahead and check them out, and all my MCU stuff will go in there in the future as well. But but guys, if you simply enjoyed this review, smash the thumbs up, comment your thoughts and ratings down below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for much, much more content coming on the channel. Don't forget to stay tuned for Thursday's review, which will be the Doctor Strange movie review. Captain America Civil War. This is an action-adventure sci-fi movie around 2 hours and 28 minutes long. This was released on the 6th of May, 2016. Political pressure mounts to install a system of accountability when the actions of Avengers lead to collateral damage. The new status quo deeply divides members of the team. Captain America believes superheroes should remain free to defend humanity without government interference. Iron Man sharply disagrees and supports oversight. As the debate escalates into an all-out feud, Black Widow, Hawkeye and the rest of the team must pick a side. The good points. Now, the first good point I want to talk about is the Russo brothers. The Russo brothers just know how to make a movie when it comes to superheroes, especially when they're all on the same movie at the same time. As we go further on in this MCU, it'll get better and better, more and more superheroes, and it just becomes absolute genius from them. If they took control of the X-Men, Fantastic Four, The Punisher, or any other things in the MCU, it'd be a completely genius move, and I think they would make it so much better, and it needs that reboot. The cast in this movie was awesome yet again. They just know how to pick the cast perfectly. And it just made this movie more fun with this cast. Because you, whether they were together or apart, the, the build for this movie was just so great. The action sequences were at their best in this movie, 100%. Captain America was badass in this movie. He had some seriousness about him, taking control. Obviously, it was his movie. You could definitely tell that. I love the fact that he was the one person that trusts in Bucky, that understands his innocence and believes in him. And he will go to the end with, for Bucky. And if he believes in something, whether he's alone or with somebody by his side, he will go to the end. If he has to die, he will die. I just love that about Captain America. Just shows his heroism and his courage and his heart. Black Panther, guys, he was definitely badass in this movie. He took the movie to a whole new level. As soon as he was appeared in the movie as the Black Panther, everybody I know for a fact got so excited for this character coming into the MCU. Even if you didn't know much about him like I didn't, this character just elevated the movie to a whole new level. We have a Spider-Man which we can believe in. Tom Holland smashing it out of the park, whether he's Peter Parker right you know or Spider-Man. Really he looks the part, he sounds the part. The whole thing for him, it just works perfectly. He made the scenes more funny, more followable and enjoyable at the same time. I love the fact that this movie showed everybody's side of the story and we understood that and believed them in certain aspects. So in this movie, we had... Iron Man that finds out a devastating truth at the end of the movie and we can understand his pain, his anger and everything and we can sort of understand Team Cap side of things. The villain Zemo in this movie was a very good point. He weren't your typical villain. I like the fact that he was just a normal human being that had reasons again which we understood and he just wanted to really affect the Avengers in certain reasons, for certain reasons and it just made the film more jubble that it was a smart guy that just used his brain. The Winter Soldier and Bucky continues to really, really make the movies better and better. He was a definite crucial part, yet again, in this movie. Obviously, a sequel to The Winter Soldier and a sequel to The Avengers. We really get to understand Bucky a lot more and how he was being controlled and a lot of other things about this character really goes into depth that airport battle sequence was literally so iconic. One of the best superhero sequences I've seen ever. The visuals, the CGI and the editing all come together in this movie to perfection. This movie does what a sequel should do. Whether it's to the Captain America the Winter Soldier or the Avengers. It ups it to a whole new level. This movie done what Age of Ultron failed to do. Which was balancing all the superheroes on the screen at the same time. As well as their stories. It done that perfectly. And the last good point, guys, is the post credit scene I absolutely love. Seeing the world of Wakanda and definitely setting it up for the Black Panther movie. 
the bad points. Now, there was only one bad point that I could consider in this movie that was really nitpicking at the movie. And the bad point about this movie is that Zemo wasn't the one that actually split the Avengers up into two teams. That, that, that was already a glass that was cracking and he finally made the final crack and shattered the glass. The movie just tried to make him feel that he was the one that split the Avengers and it wasn't nothing like that. So guys, it's rating time. Let's have a look at the critics of what they have to rate this movie. We have Rotten Tomatoes giving it a 91%. We have IMDb giving it a 7.8 out of 10. And Metacritic giving it a 75. My rating for this movie is... An 8.8 out of 10. That makes this movie awesome. totally awesome. Now guys, this movie was personally one of my favourites so far in the MCU. If you've already seen my top 10 MCU movies list, you'll definitely see that this is second place in my list so far. Obviously Avengers Endgame's on the way and could even beat that ahead of that. So obviously that's more to look forward to. But definitely this movie is personally one of my favourites. I'd recommend it to anybody. This isn't just your simple superhero movie. This has a lot of emotional and political side to it, which is just more enjoyable. It's more of a human-like film with superhero additions to it. I like the fact, obviously, being Team Iron Man, Team Cap, it makes it a bit more competitive and more enjoyable, especially with the build. I think it has a great cast and a great set of characters, which only people are going to enjoy it a lot more after seeing this movie. I continue to go back and watch this over and over again, especially for the emotional roller coaster which this movie gives us especially with the story for Iron Man because I'm personally really interested and really care for the character of Iron Man so guys the last question I want to give you is are you team Iron Man or are you team Cap so guys that is my movie review for the Captain America Civil War and I gave it an 8.8 .8 out of 10 on the channel so let me know your ratings and your opinions on the movie down below in that comment section let's get into a friendly conversation down below and don't forget if you enjoyed it simply smash that thumbs up and subscribe and hit that bell for much much more content on the channel i've got a lot of mcu stuff already on the channel there'll be a link for that playlist for the mcu in the description annotation right at the end of this video don't forget guys on thursday to tune in for doctor strange movie review but yeah guys i've been me you've been you and i'll see you next time guys on talking with Jay Springer.